Our weed of the week is perhaps the most difficult to control weed in the entire country. It is Palmer pigweed. Oh, Brian, we're making headway on Palmer pigweed. And here's the big thing. When you think about these smooth pigweeds, like Palmer and tall water hemp, uh, yeah, you can't really tell the difference very easily. There's a few little features, but I, it know. doesn't matter. It's kind of a waste <laughs> yep. of time. Who cares if it's Palmer or if it's water hemp? It's resistant to Roundup, and it's a tough For the pigweed, most part. and it's going to have a million seeds potentially. Yep. We just got to get plant. it under control before it comes out of the ground. That's the key. Yes, because whether it's water hemp or Palmer pigweed, those weeds can grow two to four inches in a day. So literally you can go out, scout one day and say, oh yeah, it's, it's not quite there yet. We'll check in a few days again, and now it's too big. That's the real problem. And the fact that it can come up at any point, it's super competitive. So yeah, this is a major, major issue. We're gonna talk today though about how to solve this problem on your farm. All right, let's take soybeans because soybeans are really the crop that uh, a lot of farmers across the country are throwing their hands up on. Oh no, I don't know what I'm gonna do in my All soybeans. Right, so let's look at conventional soybeans. I find it interesting we start there, Brian, because this is why conventional soybeans kind of went away in our country yeah. because we had tough weeds to But there to is absolutely a way to do this. So here's what we suggest in soybeans. You got to start with the three pre's. So that means a yellow full rate, metribuzin full rate. And, and by full rate, I mean a third of a pound, not technically the full rate, which is two thirds of a pound. And then the other thing that you want to throw in there is either valor or authority. Again, I'm going full rate. So you go with those three pre's. They're all very good on Palmer pigweed. They're each individually gonna get you 90%. You put all three of them out there, we're talking 99%. Okay, so that's a great start. Now, if it's burned down, then I'm also throwing Gramoxone in. Otherwise, tillage, okay, you're done. Just the three pre's is good enough. Then you get to early post. What I would do is get one of the group 15's like Dual, Outlook, Zidua, one of those, Warrant, something like that. I'd get that going out there pretty early on yeah, just to pass. layer that residual. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, we have to do that. Now remember, those products have no burn down. So if there's weeds up, they're not gonna get those, but they are gonna affect the ones that are just starting to germinate yeah, the group in the 15s, soil. The group 15s. And the other thing I'd throw with that, if it was me, I'd probably throw some Flexstar in. So that'd be like Warrant Ultra. You've got Warrant plus Flexstar. That's a pretty good way to go. Now, in terms of that Flexstar, the rate's gonna vary depending on where you're at in the country. In the northern US, I'm typically only recommending 12 ounces. If you're in another area of the country, if you're further south, you can use a higher rate safely without having to worry about carryover. Where we farm, if we use more than 12 ounces, we'll probably have a carryover issue. All right, your other post emerge options are Cobra and Ultra Blazer. They're from the same chemical family. And here's the challenge, Brian. Now we're spraying single mode of action products out there, and yeah, we're going to see some resistance. But let's issues. also keep in mind almost everybody's using a trait here. Roundup still works in a few spots, but mainly Not it's many. guys that have gone to Extend and are using Dicamba, or guys that have gone to Liberty and eventually will have the stack. There's also Enlist coming where you can use 24D and Liberty. So we've got some really good options. The other thing is we have to keep clean fields in the other crops. So in corn, we can do a great job. You look at pre's, I love verdict down. I love status post emerge. You can use HPPDs in a lot of situations, but I prefer not leaving them as a single mode of action. Put some dicamba or something else with them yep, to make atrazine. sure that you get the, yeah. the Palmer pigweed under control. All right, in wheat, I'm going with sharpened pre, post emerge, husky, and then let's face it, wheat usually can choke out Palmer or water hemp if you have a good stand. So there you go. Our Weed of the Week was Palmer pigweed. Good luck this year on your farm. Multiple pre's and multiple post modes of action as well. That's it for our weed, but stay tuned. Iron Talk is coming up next. <music>